So today I want to talk about three ways that you can improve your kidney function and lower the workload and you don't age as quickly. All disease is the same disease and all disease is created. Um, a, men eat their way to death uh, for the most part or lifestyle, uh, nutritionally, fitness wise, hydration wise. People make choices every single day that will determine their uh, functional output from their organs. So we want to increase our blood flow. We want to increase our ox oxygen uptake. We want to retain the vitality of our organs. And basically, we want to prevent any sort of disruption within the body and how it functions naturally and the way it is designed to be. So you would inevitably think it would make a lot of sense to take care of your kidneys, which filter every single thing that you put in your mouth um, and on your skin. So, and essentially your, your skin is your third kidney. So when you have skin problems, when you have rosacea, inflammation, you have increased the amount of freckles that you have, you have sunspots, you have moles, your skin is dry. These are hydration problems, which are essentially kidney problems because your kidneys take care of the homeostasis of fluid balance in your body. So why wouldn't you want to encourage the kidneys to work efficiently and not in excess. So the foods that you would want to limit, the number one thing that you can do for your kidneys is to get rid of all animal products. You do not need to get amino acids from protein in the form of meat, milk, dairy, whatever it is that you're having, eggs. And it's a hard workload on your kidneys. Now your kidneys have to do a lot of work to excrete the excess amount of toxic hormones that are within that, the nitrates that are produced. It's an endless battle for your kidneys. The more meat, especially processed meat that has more additives to it. So basically what happens is your kidneys maintain the fluid in your body through nephrons. Okay. And some of them are filtering. They're glomerous or, and the other ones are secretion and reabsorption tubulous so those are the two parts of your kidneys that's the main function is to like all right this is coming through the blood and what am i going to do with it which one is useful and which one is useless and i'm going to drop that so basically what happens is you keep the number one thing that you keep is glucose that's the number one thing your kidneys like Yes, we're going to keep that. Absolutely not going to excrete that through the urine. I'm going to keep that because my body needs that to function on every cellular level. Then it takes on the amino acids, water, and sodium. So this is another reason for me that we are designed to retain sodium. So why put extra strain on the kidneys to now have to filter that out? We get rid of things through our urine from the kidneys. And this is your phosphates, your drugs, your waste, your toxins. And this is where excess salt goes. This is where excess of anything goes. So basically, if you're having too many food additives, I think that this is another reason why the sugar diet should really be about pure white sugar or coconut sugar or maple syrup or, you know, these jams, like these sources of like fruit, like from the source sugar and not so much like having candy. Uh, it's not because the candy is bad inherently. It's because of the colors and uh, the additives, the random things that nobody even knows what these ingredients are. That's why these fake packaged things um mimic as best as they can fruit and if they just left it that way it would have been fine but then they add in colors um and that is hard on your kidneys and your kidneys goes this is completely useless i'm gonna get rid of this and when you're already overloaded coming from 
perhaps a keto carnivore fasting, low calorie, low carb diet, now you're taking on the sugar and you're taking in on this extra garbage that your kidneys would have to filter and don't really want to. And this is why people were like, I can't do the sugar diet or it screwed me up. It's because they didn't just go for making a sugary lemonade or a sugary smoothie, or they had too much of maybe the processed additives, things that create phosphorus in your body, which would basically be bad for your bone health and your vascularity. So it's like, take a step forward, take a step back when you could have just taken steps forward and built up your glucose tolerance and uh, the way it partitions through your body, that would have been a better route if you're going more like fruits with sugar, with jam, with maple syrup, with honey, that's the way to go. Not so much like I'm just gonna overload on candy and soda. Of course, in a situation where it's like, this is the only thing that I have, okay, fine, then have some of that. But the habit should be more towards something that's not gonna overload your kidneys and therefore age you faster. So minimize the meat, minimize the dairy, minimize the packaged foods, especially the baked foods that are just full of butter and everything else. Um, the artificial additives, the alcohol, the caffeine, these things are all constricting your blood vessels. They're vasoconstrictors, they are not vasodilators, like magnesium is, which is found in all plants and fruit foods. So you're gonna go more for that. and. The magnesium is actually within the chlorophyll mo uh, molecule, so you're going to be getting it from greens and you're going to be getting it from fruits. These are the things that we should be going for. It tells you to replace all this meat, dairy, processed food with rice, potatoes, fruit, sugar, vegetables. You're basically looking to go for a fibery potassium sugar diet. This is what you're looking for. And you're gonna get it through sugar, through starch, through rice, grains, uh, fruits, vegetables. And if your kidneys are very healthy, it's okay to go for some beans. That's what the suggested diet is. And then the third thing is hydration. If you're not hydrating, then you're not encouraging your kidneys to function and flush out these toxins and wastes and dilute all of these things through the blood. So your, your body is constantly trying to level you out from the things that you consume, take what's useful, excrete through the urine, sweat, uh, what's useless. And it's up to you to put yourself in a position to prepare properly to achieve a healthy physique through the food that you eat. There's no other way to do it. And it's so confusing out there. Everybody says that we need a high protein diet, but essentially high protein diet is just a huge nitrogen waste dump on your kidneys. And that has to be filtered. Uh, therefore your kidney workload goes up and then you increase the stress and aging pattern in your body. It just doesn't make any sense to have this kind of food when you could just have mainly carbohydrates, which contain enough protein and enough fat from them and have the proper potassium to sodium ratio. And then you're packing on the fiber, which is so important for you to have proper bowel movements and carry out the other toxins that your kidneys don't do. And then you're gonna be doing some fitness so that you can excrete that fat through exhalation and sweating and urine. So these are all the key things to make sure that everything's working well. Otherwise, if you have the coffee, you have the alcohol, you have the high fat, you have the high protein, you have the meat, um, grass-fed or not, processed or not, your body still has a hard time processing it. And then on top of that, you're not, if you're having too many of these high nitrogen waste foods, then you're not having enough glucose, which is the first thing that your kidney wants to keep. It wants to keep the glucose. So then your body has to go through another extra step of gluconeogenesis to then put that glucose through your blood where it should be. And if this accumulates over time. It's not like you have meat one day and then kidneys stop functioning. It's years and years and years of the same pattern of eating, the same pattern of lifestyle, 
and neglect towards hydration, sleep, fitness, and fuel for your body, which is sugar, carbohydrates, starch. That's what we're designed to do. All of this extra stuff is hard on your kidneys. It comes out in the way that you smell. I think that this diet increases your sensitivity and your endocrine system, and you're able to pick up on things because when something smells foul, that's a clear indication that you shouldn't be around it, consume it. So avoid all perfumes, avoid all things that have extra additives. And I've always kind of geared towards this and that's what drew me to the raw vegan type lifestyle, fruitarian sort of utopic idea. But in the reality of where I live and what I'm doing right now, I'm so happy that I have potatoes. I'm so happy that I have rice because the fruit is subpar, but I still have the bananas. I still have the apples. I still have what I can get out here. And those are the sodium, those are the potassium that I need. Like that's the rich foods and I'm eating from the garden. I'm having the tomatoes, I'm having the lettuce. I'm looking at it right now. I'm making the best of what I have at the situation at hand. So a, a, a key marker that your kidneys are working well is that you can filter out creatinine, which is your muscle metabolism. And this is from these waste products, from these meats and things. Like how well can you filter out the creatinine in your blood? So it's all about getting enough fiber, sugar, potassium. It's all about getting enough sleep, water, sugar. It's all about getting that fitness in, that hydration in, that exhalation in. This is what will improve your life. And I think people give up on this uh, lifestyle, give up on this diet because no one starts like a raw vegan journey because they're healthy. Does that make any sense? Like most people end up here at the sugar diet or at the high carb, low fat lifestyle because they're at a point where they're sick of feeling the way that they feel, their performance is low, their weight is up, their sleep is not good, uh, they're taking medication they don't wanna take. The list goes on to why people choose to change their lifestyle and their diet and it's usually because their health is in decline. So the point of lowering your kidney workload is to increase your body's vitality and to slow the aging process by properly fueling and not over burdening and having your body excrete, 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 excrete for years and years and years and years. And then you end up in a place where you're so undercarbed and you're over caffeinated and you're overstimulated and you're underperforming. And it just is a bad kind of wrap up of so many choices throughout your life. And then you end up somewhere where you don't want to be. You don't know how it happened because you were following everything. We have a huge problem with protein intake. I never hear anybody talk about fiber and I hear everyone talking about protein. Meanwhile, they overlook how much burden it is on your kidneys to excrete the nitric waste and how much has to happen through your blood. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So I haven't had it in years. I'm so happy. And it took me a long time to get off like whatever the milk and the cheese, but I was so underweight and so whatever at that time. So everywhere led me to here. And I'm just so happy to getting to this point where it's like, be good to your kidneys, be good to your skin. You need to hydrate, you need to rest, you need to sweat, you need to do some sort of fitness. And you're only going to be able to do that if you have the proper amount of energy through carbohydrates and you're limiting your fat, you're limiting your salt, you've cut out the oil, you're seeking potassium rich foods, adding sugar if needed, adding sugar whenever feels right. And then you're enjoying whatever starch is available to you so that you can sleep well, feel satiated, and ultimately continue the next day and be better than you were yesterday. So the choices to make today are going to affect you years down the road and you want to be in a healthier place. You want to be in a more cool, calm and collected place. You want to be prepared for whatever you have to do in your life. And in my opinion, it would be to take care of your body. And that is through lifestyle. That is through nutrition. And that's the video for today. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.